As I'm expecting, uh, I mean, that's a, this sort of pace, to be honest with you, with the double duelist lineup. Snickats are going to have to deal with this wall, but a one-for-one -one trade comes through, and Shakalaka will get themselves onto a site. Spike makes its way through main now. That's it. Decent opportunity to set up for this post-plant hold also. Now, he way on the flank. He's going to actually re-explore a lobby here, but... See Snick waiting though, he's ready for that flank to come through. They have all the time to set up for this. No pressure on site means that they can send somebody to that flank control. Nookie's just fallen away from that. I kind of expected him to try and maybe work on it, but no, decides to leave it, which... I mean, this post plant is going to have a fair crack of time on it still. If Ova going to lead the way, that's lovely work between him and Nookie. Working together, that's maybe the adjustment as to why. Clearing out hell. Uh, and well, Nitro? Oh, what? Excuse me? And the Molly. But he's sticking it. Nookie's going to stick this. He gets off it. And oh my god, Nitro might have just done this. I have no idea what to make of these guys. But right now, they are impressing. All he has to do is buy done time. It. I'm pretty sure he's done it. The Molly just dissipates. But I don't think it matters. It does. Members, other than poor, are stacked over this side of the map. But that's worrying though. Because Shakalaka will isolate both kills on site. Nuki and Rubino will fall. And once again, they have lots of time to set up for this. And so they have the... Uh, the arsenal to secure this. Poor actually just caught a headshot. I'm not entirely sure where that was from, but here is now just all the stall onto heaven. Destroy the trap wire on the flank, so Avova's position will be noted and one all but done now. One enemy remaining. Final player now noted. No real dangers being garnered. Spectre collected, but Avova. Lucky to keep his life. The pre is dirty, man. Snake's going to take rid of him. Shoop! Going in that owl drone. Going to find the info and also find the wall. They do crack through. There we go. Running backs out. I mean, it's not safe. It ain't pretty, but actually, that's pretty poor. Didn't get what he wanted from that. Niso's still alive and actually gets one for it. Good trades eventually. But th this team is just hyper-aggressive. And really, this is what you want to see from a Phoenix. Just brute forcing. Mmm. Spike will go down and look at the post plant utility here. Scanning ahead. Orbital strike and the hunter's fury. So they can definitely secure this round if it even does look like heretics have a chance. They're going to tap that one. They'll draw the hunter's fury out initially. That will kill a lot of time for Shakalaka. And actually, look at this. The molly comes through as well. That's actually going to confirm a Vova. After the hunter's fury tag and front side will pick up two freebies as well. Chakalaka will go 3-1 up. Snake's almost back on it. Look at this guy. No fear. Absolutely no fear. Just powers forward. Up against an eco outside. Doesn't get the corner so good. Don't love that. Just gives himself up. No trade comes through either. That's a rifle recovered. But luckily, his Ooh. teammates are just snapping around. Front side making it look real easy. These guys just mad. Investing ultimates and stuff. Up against Bucky with Pora. Like, this is madness. Horror's probably a little baffled himself. He's like, I at least hope I'd maybe get like a step in the right direction, man. I don't know. Grub here. Gonna be watching that cross out. Easy peasy. Pumpkin peasy. Now that meta change, that evolution has happened. I don't know how used to heretics are of playing against this style specifically. This hyper aggression. This willingness to throw your body into it. And look at this. Now the wall goes up. This retake though is looking much better. One side will catch that one to Revolver though. Revive gets invested also. Still have the orbital strike. Amarito finds two. Niso and Avova will fall now. Nitro just posted with the orbital strike. That's going to get him off the defuse there. And Amarito now with the blade storm in hand. Nuki still finds the kill though. Four on the round and the defuse will come through in time also. Thanks. They both pop their ults. I don't. Shame. I don't. I need this. I feel in this is going to keep running it through. He's got a couple more seconds. You can see how manic this is. But Niso's he's put the ball up. He's staying nice, cool. He's not. He's not getting too much pressure. Okay, now he is. It's 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 gone badly. Okay, now there's a problem. The site's going to be theirs. Now can they clear out as they go? Yes, Avova's dead. Nitro's got it. Now the spike goes down. Now you can see the retake gets stopped instantly. What? These guys are literally just, they're aim training right now versus heretics. This is absolute insanity. Rubino going to try and re-explore with the Owl Drone here, but already Snick looking to get aggressive in the post plan. He can still heal up, so don't worry about that damage initially. Lockdown comes through from Pora. Recon. They're going to try and flash out with this. He flashes out. 
He's going to find it. And they break the lockdown. Rubino will spawn with two kills of his own. Comes down to a 1v1 now. Oh, this is brutal. Rubino, I mean, the man is a veteran, but he has no idea. He thinks he's on the side, and front side can just bide the time. He's got the round. I oh cannot. my god. Let's see what he sees. He'll be the first bit of contact. Okay, he actually slips away towards CT. He can hold the cross. This is a filthy crossfire now. This, yeah, one player posted up on steps, and even if he shows the Aldo near Grabino with the perfect time on that counter peak, that was beautiful. Literally baited the peak onto the Aldo. Now, Rubino got it all to do in a 1v2. One player at half-life, but it wasn't all these problems from defense this morning. Finds front side, he swings back on, but Grabino! A little bit of an over-peak there. And Heretics will respond with a round win, but that was beautiful. That was so well played, that crossfire. And the bait onto the Aldo. As soon as the information goes out, Grabino... At least for Jet. And in we go. Checks the angle so well. Hey, Marito happy to dive in we see the root coming through here isolating the player up towards heaven as well really good insight gonna take the fight here doesn't win out that time again rubino seems very capable of handling this but snick's close angle is hard to work with but heretics look like they're up for the brawl this time yeah and that's exactly what it is a brawl snick down to low hp so gonna pop the running back actually the lockdown invested up on heaven here and the hunter's fury so that's gonna shut down the lockdown but nitro will find poorer and Snick will find a over, so looking like Shakalaka going to close this half out 8-4. Yeah, they're just taking fights and they're winning them <laughs> from side. <laughs> I am loving it. All right, Wall goes up on short. Nisel's doing the dance, trying to avoid the molly burning. Rubino. Oh, oh, nice yeah, pinch. Nice flank, yeah. Really good uses of, of short there. Rubino making them work. And now Nuki going to... Make sure that plant goes down safely. Snick here tries to find the one player. Does. That's a Vova gone. Do you find any more? They unfortunately missing there. So Snick got a little bit of time to set up. Recon actually going to fail here. So they do have a chance at this retake. And actually the pinch comes through from short. Look at this. Two kills in favor of Shakalaka. Rubino pinched in hell right now. We'll find the first. Snick will fall. But Amarito good for the trade. And... Laka Laka will retake in the pistol. Yeah, Snick doesn't have his usual flash and go approach now. He's been worn down. Seconds left. And now front side tucked to the back by Boathouse. Gonna have so many... Ooh. Oh my bloody god, the damage he did. He just absolutely Black pumped him. But it'll be Heretics keeping this one stable for now. Nitro Black left planted. in a 1v4. There's not too much damage across it. Killjoy did get a bit of a tag. And we have a, a fan, I think told us what Chakalaka could be. Um, I mostly think of it as, you know, boom right Chakalaka, here. but apparently in South Africa, it's a vegetable relish, usually spicy, uh, traditionally so dry here. They're gonna have to make the hit pretty soon and that utility is gonna be taken away from them. You can see they're going towards stack. Oh, oh. oh no, here we go. No keys gonna clear well, and there we go. So far, so good. Nitro could be a danger, but it's kept in check. Snick does find one, but there's no real threats with our trade. This is really good work from Heretics to ensure all of these kills that came towards them were tradable. Never letting it spiral out of control. Amorito, we saw he was on the other side of the map earlier on. So a retake with a Bucky and a Frenzy. It's the dirtiest buy you'll ever see. <laughs> we might be able to do a bit of damage. Backs away from the first fight and not going to get a second bite of the cherry. So that's promising. Uh, the Nano Swarm going to come through. But a sloppy peek from Nuki ahead of the Nano Swarm. I'm going to be honest, you know it's a jet. You know he's going to be able to get into that one and done spot. Off. Yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, I think sloppy's the right word. I don't know if I love that. Um, again, should have had the information. You, you played into it perfectly. However, we do see heretics fall back to what looks like a B piece coming through. You do have that play towards middle from Pora on towards a killjoy, slowly working up, showing a little bit of something. Going to keep this map looking trickier to take. Amarito actually got a bit of an angle on this. Once the smoke dissipates, but no, Pora's position is better. Amarito goes down. Now suddenly that sight cross is looking more viable. There's still players at the back of sight, which could be a problem. But for now, Grabino is making great deals of damage come through. Now the spike to be planted. Peak. Whoa! Big deny! Front side just got him. No way. Heretics pulling it back together. Grubino's gonna have to do some big work here if he fancies a chance. Actually, the Hunter Fury completely denied, and that gives Rubino all the time in the world to set up outside market here. So 
Robinho effectively just made things harder for himself. Double shock dart coming through here. It actually comes through all the way onto site to clear behind the box. I like that lineup actually. Obviously, Jonas, I'm sure, will judge that in chat, but Robinho still in a 1v2. 44 HP, and Niso will find his third on the round and shut that down. But, you know, just phase over towards CT to get the first bit of attention. Now, there it is. Nuki's going to find one. Does he stick around? Yes. Ultimate to be popped. That's going to buy great deals of time. Good work. Core through. Okay, watch middle. You're going to see Omen over there watching this one. Maybe even Sova has a little peek, but they're really headstrong at pouring through CT. Look at this angle. Nuki is putting them to work. Yeah, and I mean, uh, Nuki does all the hard work there to keep... Shaka lack in spawn long enough. They can set up a really strong post plant. Nobody over on site. Everybody able to take early contact here and make it as difficult as possible on the retake. One enemy remaining. Okay. What's up against kind of a... Hey, Marito actually going to creep on that one. Niso playing out of line of sight of the owl drone. So they only noted of Ova's position there. Really nice stuff there, and this is where the discipline becomes a discussion for Shakalaka. Because now Grabino's trying to re-aggress onto that when he knows this too. <laughs> Look, you don't expect it, right? Like, he's, he's walking the smoke. He's about to walk no that smoke. Way. He's 100% going to walk that smoke. Ooh, there you go. What? I mean, he gets checked on, but he is 100% walking that smoke, and Nitro was behind him, didn't go so well. And the uh, almost... To a full headstrong approach, I respect it. It's rough to make work. And you can see Pora not going to let that flash go anywhere. There's front side now. Left all alone. The turret's not being nice to him either. And he should be caught, at least for a fair whack of damage and now noted. Done. Just making this tricky. This is good stuff from her uh, the heretic side. They're, they're not getting sloppy on it. Smoke's down. Oh, lockdown will give them all of this territory. Actually, Niso going to convert a kill out of it, but he will respond as well. And once again, we'll find Snick. And now you've got to be a little bit worried on the side of Shakalaka, but Grubinho will land that Sheriff headshot. Look for the way back into this retake, but Heretic's going to hold strong. There you go. Pora finds the headshot and ultimate. Snick's there to greet them at backside. Baited out. But this time around, they will force their way through short here. Grabino actually got attacked by a switch, and you. Okay, find the first one. Revive is good, though. Aimarito will fall, though. Nitro's on the site. What? And the Molly got Rubino? How? I do not know, but this is just so scrappy and messy. But it's four players alive for Heretics. They should be fine in this. Two players trying to play this back in. Frontside and Snick trying to do whatever they can here. Sees the first play, but Avova's found frontside. This is look like Snick is dead. I don't see a way out of this one. There you go. All of the utility <laughs> being committed. He's dead to rights. Heretics not getting to... Shakalaka have changed my expectations in this matchup. Now, they will be starting on the defensive side, right? So this, again, is they're going to be put to... Oh. Put to task early on, right? This could be a little bit trickier to play with, but let's see what they do on this map. This was their choice. But he somehow has crept all the way up, and it's actually Rubino that will find that kill. Grabino will respond onto Nuki, and it's actually going to be the green light for Heretics to hit the rotation here. Rubino will find another. See, now Heretics find themselves at a 4v3 and going to get the spike down on B site. Yeah, great positioning coming through for them here. Niso can be comfy with that. Now, Avova's timing is perfect. Couldn't ask for more, but front side on the flank as well. The flank of a flank. You gotta love it. Emerito clearing towards the defensive side. Spawn. I'm gonna look towards CT. No one's really around there. You can see the late flank coming through middle, but front side's expecting Pora's positioning. That's mad. He was already considering that. And now, having a little look around, checks towards Niso. You may know where he is, but taking him down is the next part. You're not going to get it. Nisao's showing you some real flex. Emerito, easy kill for Nisao. Going to make it look like light work there. There is another player, though. A bit of a stack out. Clearing it through methodically. This is a five-play stack on this site. So, poro has got to be meticulous in approach. They all are. They're being careful about this. And I like that. All looking tradable kills. Might be able to get the first. No, Pora, big deny. 
Got a hell of a feel. Snick should have found that one, but front side will find one of his own. The counter beat comes from sight. Front side will find a second, but maybe scratching the head going, wait, what's going on here? Why is there so many players? Now they know why. It's a sheriff stack. And still a couple more to get past. Snick is here. Tries to catch that oh, up, and then he does. Vova gets caught. Uh-oh. Now the spike's on the way over towards the other side of things. You can see Poor already setting up the defensive as best he can. Keep track of this one. Spike en route. Cage triggered. They will come about just in time. Both members of Shaka Laka very, very low, and Heretics both at 100 HP. Poor still with full armor. And this utility is deep enough in spawn, but actually the timing on the camera, there you go, he will recheck it. So, Cage triggered. one player noted, and Poor are going to reposition now based on that information. They can wrap back to heaven at a really yeah. good bit of timing. Look at that plant as well. It's perfectly for it. And yeah, this is gorgeous work from Heretics. Just Rubino working well. The recheck towards heaven from front side. That's going to throw a spanner in the works. It looked like he was going straight through towards screens, but now you need to check that. Oh, Hora. This one we found. Look at these these angles. Rubino, mad off angle to play with. As soon as he gets contact, there should be a swing. He doesn't need the swing. Nitro is still there in support. A very unorthodox crossfire, but it works very well. Yeah, and Poor obviously back on that. 30 seconds look, Which is where we usually see him. But no real surprises there. Finds himself in a 1v5 situation. Spike down in heaven. This is... Do some damage if possible at this point for Poor. Gonna find the first two headshots. Doesn't expect the third, but... Shots from him. Oh, that was bold. I, that, that scares the life out of me, but they're going to have to go quick now. Sticks knee just found Nookie. What? Man, styling on like like it's nothing. Frontside, Amarito. Heretics just got slaughtered on that choke point. I don't know how the paint shell killed Nookie on the show. Same. I have no idea. Nisel now has to face the music, baits the first peak, goes back in. Oh, I love his mechanics. You can't do much yeah. in the mid. Timing's perfect. Rubino's going to back away. Flash comes. Oh, he's panicking a little. You can see the pressure sign him out. Needs to call back his buddy. The Cypher's on the way. They don't know there's two players hit. The timing of Vova's got it. Just, just adjusting to check that corner, but... That Cypher could left. be a thorn in the side. They don't maybe have full information. Front side's over here. Here we go. Finds one. That's a over now gone. Now the spike's made it towards the site now. Should be planted, but a 2v4 to handle. Two ultimates available if they want it as well. Mookie trying to hit that reload before there's any pressure. Snick made it down without being checked on either. Niso, though, going to get one. Just falls away for a second. nuki has been unnoted yet. Checking on him, yes, Big but they find the information. No trade, there's the ultimate, no bother for at least one of them. Up and over we go, the eats are out. But Niso holds it down. Nitro quickly gets in there, does not allow Niso too much freedom and probably right to be th feeling as such. I mean, you let Niso right start feeling himself, that could have been the 2v4. Freestyle, but it, it's not like it's not working. They've got a great read on this round as well, but Nuki's just flying through, but with only a ghost to decide. You can't expect much for it. So now this is where the utility starts to tear through them. They've got the better guns. They've got the better angles. Now, the mad thing is that Snick's like committing to a close angle against, you know, potentially a frenzy, potentially a sheriff. I mean, luckily he's an aim god and he's doing just fine. He doesn't get overwhelmed. He doesn't get threatened. Nisa's taken space and he's your danger man here. He's the one with the rifle to do something with it. So there he goes. Front side's made it look so comfortable and poor as blind as a bat. Can't do anything. Easy peasy. I mean, Shackle. Ooh, and a Marito's gonna start clearing up towards heretics already, though. They're gonna try and pressure this issue, but. What? Snick's just doubled down. The utility usage. This time, it's nuts. I was a little baffled by Shackalaka's utility approach when it came to the previous map, but here, it's been pretty exceptional, honestly. Now, Avovas, they have nothing. They have no step towards the site. I have not seen a team get so many kills in that choke point in quite some time. Be it by spamming it out, by aggressive posturing, I don't know, but at this point, they are outplaying them on that. Now, last round of the half. Heretics find themselves at a 2v5 situation. Neural theft, so 
Poor, uh, not gonna catch this one. They're backing across there. At Back in the wrong angle, unfortunately. And I've over now, down to 46 HP. Rolling Thunder actually rolls through. He manages to avoid it. Anticipates a flash coming through, but... Follow up there, but Spike's down, so... I mean, Shackalakin could just sit back and hold if they want, but Snick will clean it up. Off. Yeah. Knife out, no worries. Nice out, though. Too sharp. Not going to fall for that, but they continue to press forward. You can still see another player here. Nitro is on the other side. Now, the timing's everything. The pinch going to come in, and we'll have to see if maybe they get the timing right. No, poor is there. Front side on the trade, but Nitro should be coming into the fight now. Front That's side pinch. found both. Once again, still got one player in screens to deal with. It's going to be Rubino now. Backing up, trying to give... He makes a chance to rotate in here. Nitro actually going to catch a headshot with the Frenzy there. That's going to keep Nuki honest in heaven. Who's that? Grabino. Keep your eyes on that man. He's crept all the way through screens right now. Actually, the double satchel coming through to Nico. He's actually going to get all the way into Elbow. He finds so that kill onto Nitro. He has just managed to kind of jump past two lines of defense here. Spots out one of the players as well. Tucked just um, underneath heaven front side. Some incredible... Actually, Avova and Nuki both sitting to find out whether or not the push does come through here. There you go, the double sats one. The flash is good, and actually, Avova got a full stick finds two with the Spectre. Corbino will find a third, and wow, that hit came out of nowhere, and <laughs> how, how did he close the distance that fast off the double satchel when Avova caught first contact? He spotted that out. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm baffled. Just the... the the speed of that reaction from Shakalaka was actually insane. He was so quick. I, I mean, the explosive nature of this team is what's so impressive to watch. And we saw them have a decent defensive side. So now coming into this, you've got to feel this map is wrapped for them. They're happy. They're going to get to double digits pretty soon now. And then, you know, MR12 is, is cruel. I mean, you, you don't get a chance to kind of take a couple of rounds to feel it out. No, you better adapt quickly or you die. But now look at them hunting. They don't even leave them the guns. They want these guns away. They're looking around for them. They won't. Messy. Planted. Yeah, this time around though, Shakalak are not able to spread out. <laughs> look at the minimap. <laughs> they are literally posted. This is the weirdest post plant I've ever seen, but Amaretto has already found one, but a quick trade for Pora. Avova's got towards the side, but Snick has found Rubino. It's all favorable trades still towards Shakalaka. This oh is unreal God. stuff. I have never seen anything like that. No way to clear him out of the corners. They were just sat on the side. That bankroll. Oh, not this time. They're not getting away with it. Heretics. What? They just took the fight. They sat there and took the fight ahead. Ticking. To tell him to turn around to f to check towards yeah. sewers there, like that's very that's incredible intuition to do that, like to make sure you're checking on it. But here's the explosive hit coming out. They liked this before, but Rubino seems aware. Snick goes down. There can't be another conversion. Rubino's doing really oh. well. Of over through the smoke, takes the fight and leaves it all in the hands of Rubino, and now dealt with comfortably. Heretics have found their answer. One three one. Commitment of utility though. It's gonna be this B side hit. Snick is straight in. That's. A bold play, mm. but Rubino goes, nice, I'll take that. But now he's got problems. He's a little alone here. Nisau's come over. He's oh, found Nitro. And he knew the player was going to come in from the B-Halls. He knew it was there, but he overextends a little. Rubino punishes. But still, how does this player make anything beyond this poor shit? Okay. <laughs> got a little Dainuki of over, actually. Just ducks underneath that dash. Of Amarito, and actually, he's going to lose his life for it. Front side, good for the trade. Neural theft gets popped. Yeah, and Nitro is still above. That's the problem. Snick as well comes in towards Nisa. Nuki can only do so much. This was a big adjustment late in the game as well. This should be 12 on the board for them. Aura can play it through, but timing's going to be everything. I don't think he's going to get a freebie here. Maybe he does. No, Snick, big denial. The back of uh, another brute force play from Shakalak. And Pora's going aggressive late. He's going to. It couldn't be worse. Corbino's found him. Oh, Pora's no. dead. And now they can re-aggress. Yeah, Nisa's okay. down. The back away to the re-aggress, leaving just Nuki here. Essentially in a 1v4 as it stands. 
Okay, Jet's on the side. You can't get away from it. This is going to be 13. This is surely opening up to map 3. And now Rubino trying to make a play through ahead of that smoke dissipating, but Nitro still watching finds him. And it's all on of over. Left in a 1v5. Try and save his side. It looks like Shakalaka. <laughs> I'm going to just do it in style. Oh, that's it. Immediately in round one here, you can see Nuki and Niso straight away finding kills. That's it. The counter push comes through Shower. You can see Amarito actually going to find Rubino all the way on the backside. The paranoia is actually huge for Shakalaka. Look at this. Responding with three kills of their own. It comes down to a 2v2. Player standing. But there's Amarito. Three kills this round. Awkward death. Mm, the dash, okay. but then the split shakalaka a little bit. If Amorito actually decides to force this fight, three members of Heretics over here on eight are ready to greet shakalaka. Oh, the hit's going to come through. Yeah, they're going for this. Nisao, so prepared. Yeah. Going to find two very comfortably. No quick trade. Yeah, Nisao's on this one. And yeah, quickly. There was a Vova there if needed, but Nisao following that out drone. Going to give away the position of Nisao, but not Nuki. That's really good play from Nuki, but Nitro on the trade out. Doesn't allow that threat to build out too quickly, but they know there's more here. Nisao is one of the players to get kind of noted first and foremost, but his adjustment's good. Frontside catching out of Vova. Oh, <laughs> Nitro, so quick. One enemy remaining. And just all headies, back to back. Rubino left with so much to do, but really nice work there. But again, Nitro with a quick swing, not to allow it to get too dangerous. Keep in mind they were on the pistol. Now it's to a 3v3 now, actually. Heretic's able to reset slightly. One player over towards elbow, two defensive spawn right now. Anoya oh, invested. Niso will swing and find a headshot. Nice opening here for Heretic's in this retake. One enemy just, okay, he's been playing down by God and now position noted. Pinch up. Ooh, oh my brave. God. Oh my God. Okay. The Xantaris peak, just straight up Ferrari peeking around the place. And hook up. Actually, a big TP from Avova. Actually, he's going to commit to it as well. So information will go over. Pora finds that kill onto Snick. Neural Theft going to get popped now. And that's going to give it all away. But that's the green light for Shakalaka now. They're straight onto A site. And there we go. Nisal waiting patiently. Nice corner play from him. Just using that utility in front to kind of, you know, Allow that advantage to be his as soon as he crested that corner. 5v2 of over. Not going to let it happen. Making sure he's dead. The double tap. Okay. Not necessarily contact up B-Long. Not, not quiet about it. Pora. Now going to take that chance. Nice. They are blind as anything. And Pora beautifully done. They could not see. But a foot away from them. And a Vova and Pora take back that control. That's theirs. They, they can lock that one down. Now we do have Snick still alive, but 30 HP and not a lot of room to work with. Not gonna happen, Nisao takes him down, but front side, well, that sharp aim before from him as well. And Nisao actually catches really good timing as well to reap. Tamed attack, I guess you could say. It, it, Heretics are holding this together, but we don't know what to expect going forward now. We're gonna see already Nuki gonna play that up, and I, I, I'm kind of glad to see the op coming out a little bit more. And there's a lovely off angle for Revolver. Great timing, using that attention that was drawn towards the op to just kind of get that advantage on the angle. But we still have the blades out. There's the tag and there's the frag. And again, yes, we've got some good players here. But a 1v5 probably ain't going to be the deal here. No, it isn't. Nisal just going to put him away. She nearly caught that kill on Deborah in heaven. Super but close. The spike goes through uncontested. Yeah, that's the scary part, isn't it, though? Like, the spike being down, no kill, no damage. Let's look at those ultimates as well. A couple available if required, if they want to use this. He's now working forward. What does he see? Nothing yet. So at least he's got information on where they aren't, as weird as that sounds. But Amorito is already going to find one. The dash away to try and find some safety. The spray in, but now timing's everything. Pora's found Grubino. And you can see Frontside overwhelmed with a double peek towards Lamps. Amorito tries to stay alive, but there's nothing more to be done. He gets overwhelmed. Oh they stack up. They take him down. The ultimate goes in. It finds oh no Oh my one. god. <laughs> a 5v5 reach. Has he got it? Yeah, he has. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, okay, so they can lean the player back over, and here we go. Avovo going to try and pour utility through to keep Rubino safe for a second. Good adjustment from Rubino. Takes down Amaretto, but there's the trade-out from Snick, and he is so quick on this. Nitro there as well, pre-firing, just spamming away towards Niso. They know where he is, and Niso can be a nuisance. He's being just that. Front side gets denied. Now they're having to avoid him. They can't get away from him. You can see him try to dip around the site to avoid his gaze, but instantly Snick locates where he is. Now, where's that spike? It's with... Who is that? Sova. Okay, spike to be planted. Did spam comes through and Nitro works further forward. That's a big win once again for Rubino holding down elbow. Nitro will fall and now Critics find themselves in a 3v2 retake. Two players tagged up though, so Rubino trying to convert one of these kills early on. Back over. Try and hold on to elbow once again. Has to swing and deal with the recon dust. So Snick now, the last man standing. Pora will clean both kills up and Heretics close this half that position. They're going to try into hooker. Oh my word, does he find that? He does, but doesn't expect the second nuke. He will trade that through. They found my wife. Good read on the owl drone there. Emirito opens the pistol round up. Let's see what the rest of this looks like, though. You can see Nisal just trying to pour himself forward. Trying to take that side control as best you can. A little bit of spam here and there, but nothing to be worried about. Heretic's going to get that plan down. Rubinio holding, oh, holding the side of the smoke. And that adjustment so, so sharp. Poor his head just rolls on the floor. Scrubino now looks for another, not going to get it. Avova just kind of pre-firing on the corner. Really well done with that frenzy. Exactly. Now you can use it. Wait, Snick's on the defuse. Uh, and someone's holding the line. Okay, there we go. Nitro goes down. No chance of survival. And there's Heretics to put all of their eggs in one basket. Didn't work out. Yeet. Straight through we go. And into the eyes of Nisau and Nuki. They are loving that. Sure, come on through. Oh, wait. Oh, front side's in danger. He's in a lot of danger. One enemy Still remaining. found a kill. It's not going to matter too much, though, because Rubinho now finds himself in a 1v4 situation. I don't know if you can even do any damage here. Find a shoulder of a Vova, but Vector. There is actually two there. Rubinho is backing up. Nick. A couple of trades here and there. Spike being toyed with, seeing if anyone wants to bite on that, but they don't. Now, Spike again. Basically, you've got time. You've got 47 seconds on the board. You want to try and draw one player out. No one really goes for it, but by now the Spike is planted. Porus is showing off, man. He's got them lined up. And Rubino to find Nitro in the end. So coming through, going to give the op the first angle. The jet, though, who's got the right corner? It's going to be new. Yeah, I'd, I'm a little surprised you went for that wide slow peak. If you're going to swing wide, man, you you got to swing wide. Don't do it half-hearted. Certainly didn't um, work out so well. I know exactly While all this happens, we now have info being recovered. They now know where that stack may have been. Really, there is no stack. It's a kind of 2-2, but there we go. Lovely work from Pora, utilizing that ultimate. But the trade-out comes in for Rubinho, so you're going to have at least a little bit more of a defense on towards the B site, and that omen starting that rotation. Yeah, look at it, actually. Still one player over towards A site as well, so Heretic's going to get themselves entrance on to B here. Nitro and Grabinho will hold strong for the time being. Now that the spike's down, they have the Hunter's Fury, so Heretic's can play the post plant here. Shock darts to boot as well. 13 seconds on that recon. Showstopper sent out, won't find anything, but Niso will find the kill. Nitro will trade it out now, so 2v2. Yeah, but Nuki's still got that off. It's going to make it tricky. You can see the packs being put in. Getting aggressive, Nitro. Like working out 10 HP. Can Nitro do this? Can he get to half? Surely Rubino's not going to let that happen. He's reading this. Rubino. Rubino, no! No. No way. Out of nowhere. Oh, the timing. The timing. Isolating Rubino, but it is a quick trade out for Revolver. But now they know there's trouble coming their way. And Pora's already in. Now, how many players do they already have on this side? That's the interesting part. Pora, though. Is... Nitro checks on it. What? Okay, Spike can go down. They, they have to power forward. The problem is that Nitro is in such an, an annoying position. He gets found by the opposing Omen. Nuki out does front side, but the trade comes in from Grubino. It's a little late in the day, but a 1v2. 
Not going to happen against Niso. He's not having any... Series as well. It feels like it's taken an age to get here, but... He's going to at least claim Hooker for now, which does leave that long push pretty open. rubino has been caught off. This is falling to pieces. A high pop. This looks all but over. Uh, yeah, if you're a gambling man, you'd probably call it about now. Front side call finds himself a 1v5 retake onto B site. Going to upgrade to a phantom over here on B long. Heretics just all over this. Hunter's Fury gets invested for good measure. Nuki posted here with the operator potentially going to close things out here for Heretics. Look at this. It's going to weigh him in. Front side will find one. 